Lightroom is so much easier to navigate when you know the interface well and you know a few shortcuts. So that's what this video is all about. First of all, I just want to show you around this section here. You'll see at the top you have little triangles and at the side two and the bottom and the other side. What these do is they will hide and show the different sections. So if I click on this, now if I go over here and I just hover, I'll see it anyway. But this brings it in and out and holds it there. Oh, not that. So, um, typically it's very rare that I even hide any of this um, because I like to have it on hand. Um, maybe I'll hide this top row here. But it's useful to know that. Now let's talk about some of the shortcuts, the hotkeys to move between the different sections. Yeah, well, the, the two main sections we'll use is library, which is where you see all your images, mm -hmm. and develop is where you work on one image at a time. So it's important to know how to get back and forth between those two modes super mm -hmm. quickly. So um, if when you're in library mode, if you click on an image, and you just hit any image, and you hit D, that'll take you straight to develop mode. And then when you want to go back, you hit G, which stands for grid mode, but it's library. library. So mm -hmm. D, G, D, G should know those two. And if I'm not selecting this and I hit D, it will just switch over to develop without a picture selected. Correct, yeah. And I go back. Now I'm sure that when I click on one of these and I, let's say I hit G again, it takes me back to the library. So whenever I hit G, it always goes back to the library. Yeah, in, in grid mode, yes. In grid mode. Yes. And whenever I hit D, it takes me over to develop. Correct. Okay, that's good to know. Now we're just looking at library and develop here. Why not map, book, slideshow, print, and web? Lightroom is a workflow application, so you have a library, you work on an image, and then when you are when you start being done with those, you can create books, you can create slides. So it's really geared towards a wedding photographer. I see. So I've, I've, I mean, I've been using Lightroom for many years, and I've never used an app book, slideshow, print, or web, um, because I exactly. rarely print the images, to be honest. Um, only once... Only recently that I've got an apartment and an office that I want to have some prints done that I've been going through these. But even then, I export them, and I send them off somewhere else. Okay, so that's useful to know. Now, um, how about um, information? Now, I know you've got some hotkeys at the ready here. Yeah. So this is one that you showed me the other day. Sometimes you hit it by accident and you don't realize, but the I key is gonna show us information. So this has got the title, uh, the date, and the size. And then if we hit it again, it's also gonna show us the lens we use and the settings. So it's 160th of a second, F5 and ISO 100 here. And you can click that three times. So it's information one, two, and then off. That's good to know. Now, um, how about a preview? So there's a couple different ways to see a before and after preview. Uh, personally, my favorite way to do it is to just hit the backslash button. And the backslash button will give me a before and after just by clicking on that. Or, as you prefer, we can hit the Y button and it's going to give us a side-by-side. -side. I personally think it's better to just do this because I can look in on a small part of the frame over here and think, oh, which do I prefer? Yeah. Um, whereas this obviously makes the image significantly smaller. Let's talk about zoom. You hit Z for zoom? Z, yeah. And that's going to zoom in to where the mouse is. Um, how about spacebar? That also does zoom. Same thing, yes. Same thing. So space or Z for zoom, whatever's easiest for you to remember. Um, and then if you press F, it's gonna give you a full screen preview. So when you're close to finishing the editing, this is when I typically use this, I'll hit the F button and I'll see a little bit better detail and I can zoom in further again and see, okay, is this sharp? Do I have any chromatic aberration around here? Anything I need to remove in the edit before I finish? And I think that's most of the, the main keys we use. now. There is one very useful tool inside Lightroom, and if you want to see all of the shortcut commands, you either do Control if you're on a Windows computer, or Command if you're on a Mac, and I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna do Command, and then forward slash, and it's gonna show me all of the developed shortcuts up on this screen. Um, so, useful to know, I've shown you the most important ones, the ones we use the most. Um, it does make processing them much faster, but if you do want to see the full list, they're right here inside Lightroom. So you don't need to go Google them, you don't need to look at a download underneath this video. You can just simply click Command or Control and forward slash. If you want to get out of it, just click and it goes away. Yeah, what's nice about Lightroom is you did all that navigation and mm -hmm. you never went to a menu. 
It's everything is hotkey. Exactly. So you can go to the menu, and this is also going to show you all the shortcuts. So all these shortcuts are down the side here. You know, another way to switch between library and develop is to do this Alt Command One, um, which I don't typically tend to use. So if you can only remember a few, these are probably the most important ones to have. And when you look at them on the keyboard, you kind of get to know where they are. So like. D, G, and F are all right next to each other. Through. So that's kind of where I keep my hand because I can put my thumb on the keyboard as well and I can also have a finger over on tab or I can have it down on Z for zoom. Um, so it's really um, quite intuitive on the keyboard as well. So it's not difficult to master. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the links in the description below. I have an entire course on Lightroom processing that will show you how to take drab ordinary flat photographs and bring out all of the beautiful details that are hidden inside of them. It's an entire course on both Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC and you can check out a link in the video description below. And also if you did enjoy this video please consider subscribing. We're releasing new videos every week on a Monday at 12pm GMT London time so go ahead and click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more video content like this. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.